In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate standard or Z scores from the data that are in a given data set. Uh, I have the NIS lab data set open, but this will work with any of your data sets. Uh, so to calculate standardized values or to convert values into Z scores, you'll go to Analyze, then Descriptive Statistics, and then Descriptives. Um, now what you're going to want to do is click this box right here, this Save Standardized Values as variables and then choose an interval ratio level variable I'll do years of school completed and move it over into that box uh, now from here you just click OK and you'll notice that nothing really came up nothing too impressive came up in your um, output window the reason why that's the case is because it actually created a new variable for us so if you scroll all the way over to um, the end here you'll see Z Educ, which is standard scores for uh, year, years of school completed. So essentially what SPSS did was it calculated a mean for this variable using all 4,000 some odd respondents and then it subtracted that mean from each score and then divided that by the standard deviation. So it essentially created Z scores for all 4,000 respondents in less than the amount of time it would take you to calculate one by hand, most likely. Uh, the interpretation is essentially the same as if we had calculated them by hand. Um, it looks like this person, this respondent number one, their Z score, their standardized score for education is 0.124. So that means their almost right at the mean level of education. They're a little bit above, about 0.12 standard deviations above. Uh, person number two, respondent number two, looks like they're quite a bit above the mean when it comes to education, 1.4. They're almost um, one and a half standard deviations above the mean when it comes to education. You can also see there are quite a few people who are below the mean in terms of educational attainment. We have negative 1.58 here. That's somebody who is one and a half standard deviations below the mean in terms of educational attainment. So um, we could do this with another variable as well. Let's do it with age, for example. Uh, so again, we go to Analyze, then we go to Descriptive Statistics, and we go to Descriptives. So we'll get rid of years of school completed, and this time we'll put in age. And we still have this box checked, save standardized values as variables, and click OK. Again, we'll get kind of a not very impressive summary of what's going on. We have our minimum, we have our maximum, we have the mean, then we have the standard deviation. So again, we go to our um, window, our data view, excuse me, and we see this Z age, standardized values for age. So it looks like... Um, Respondent number one at a negative 0.5 is about one standard one half of one standard deviation below the mean, so they're a little bit younger than a lot of the sample. Um, looks like respondent number six is quite a bit older than most of the people in the sample. They're 2.26 standard deviations above the mean. Um, so this is pretty much all that you have to do for your assignment for this chapter. Just try to keep in mind as you're completing it what these numbers mean. Um, just keep in mind that these refer to standard deviation scores and they tell you um, where a given respondent falls in relation to the other respondents when it comes to the values of this particular variable.